Today we brought in our three Icing at Redwood City choirs together with Arwen and Jorge from Cascada de Flores. And this was our first rehearsal together for our Icing at Redwood City Spring Sing. It was just such a, a fun and joyous experience, I thought. It really was. I, and I just got goosebumps hearing them together. So we first started talking about a year ago, I think. Mm -hmm. I saw your you had a video of this beautiful song called Limoncito. Yeah. And immediately fell in love with that video. All of the icing team did. And so meeting you for the first time today with Jorge was just such a everything just seemed to click. Yeah. Even though we've only talked on the phone together, trying to figure out what is this gonna look like, when, when you all came and started working with the kids, it just clicked immediately. I knew it was gonna be special when you told me that the song that really drew you in was El Limoncito. You know, so many times when we perform or we're asked to teach something, it's usually things that people can relate to because they've heard it before. El Limoncito is, is uh, not very well known. Like we said, it's from this early recording of mariachi. Um, and, and most people don't play it. We've, I don't think we've ever heard a mariachi these days play this. It's just, it's so tender and having it sung by, by icing girls was just really, really special. Lemoncito is a song about someone who walks past a window and throws a lemon through it. And the lemon hits someone inside the house in the heart. When we first introduced these songs to the kids, they, they immediately fell in love with them in a way I haven't seen before. I think the, especially when we're talking about El Limoncito, um, they thought of it as a lullaby, something that their mother might sing to them and all of these things. So it was, um, there was an immediate connection that a lot of the students had with the piece, even though they'd never heard it before which was really special and I think speaks to a lot of the music that you do. You could see it today, the kids were just immediately connecting to that music and like, I, I've never heard this before, but I kind of feel like I know how it goes, I know what it sounds like, and they, it seemed like there was always this sense of familiarity with the style of music. Mm -hmm. I like singing in Spanish because it sounds like my family's culture, like Spanish. I felt absolutely amazing. Yeah, I had so much fun. Finally, having the time to put it all together with the instruments, with the dance moves, with harmonica, it became um, almost like a new piece. It gave yeah. it new life. But they, they could be part of. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That they could immediately be a part of this piece that um, all of a sudden has all of these different elements going on. And they're just, they, they're so musical and so ready to respond and put themselves in there. And so I have no fear that that'll be, they'll be able to handle that, no? They were hearing Jorge sing a, a octave below and there, were, there was no problem. Yeah, yeah, they made our, our work very easy. It was not work. <laughs> it was just joyful. 